here we are at the wonderful Ingrid's house. Here's her chicken coop. And she has begged me to come down and install this beautifully painted chicken run door frame. So in the morning, when they're all inside the coop, they're pissed, right? Because they want to get out. Yeah, they're noisy. They're a little noisy. Because they're like, hey, let me out. Right. Well, that's how we're going to solve that problem right now, right? Well, on the outside, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start a couple screws so it stays flush because once I start pushing on it, it's gonna try to push it out. Okay, are you flush out there? Mm-hmm. Right, here we go, now you gotta hold it. Don't let me push it out. I know you do. All right, so all we did is you helped me keep it so, because these screws go at a slight angle, it wants to push this board out. And normally we'd use face clamps, but again, we can't use face clamps because they're screening away. And the last pocket screw. So now what we have to do is we're gonna take, in this case, our electric staple gun, not a pneumatic, just because look how easy this is. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to cut back a little bit, just so there's no fingers and they don't scratch, scratch themselves going out. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna come up here. side notice I'm going over the welds have the gun 45 degrees to that corner that's all there is to it I'm gonna shoot a couple down here just to play it safe I have no clue what I'm doing next you take your side cutters we're gonna cut this out and like I said I'm gonna come back let's come up here it's kind of tedious when you're shooting in screen it's just like rolling dough. But every piece of dough is gonna be a little bit different, right? But you look at that piece of dough and you start figuring out where to put your hands to roll it out. Same thing with screen. And because this has a bubble right in the middle, if I was to start right here and shoot my way down, there's a very good chance I'm gonna have a wrinkle right here. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of a bubble, no big deal. So I'm gonna start right in the middle. So this is the first time getting on video assembling one of these and installing it, isn't it? We're gonna do a quick unboxing. Here's your instructions. Here's your door. Here's my favorite part. Look at that. Self-locking, very important. Here is the front housing, very important. Screws, gasket, stainless steel screws. We get asked all the time, what do I need for power? Well, right here it is. We're supposed to change it every six months. We've had it last over a year easily. When you open up this bag of screws, there's different lengths, four rails, we're gonna combine them, connect them, making two rails. So it's pretty simple. All you do, push them together, just like that. Make sure they're seated perfect. If they're not seated perfect, the system's gonna fail. All right, just put the screw in there. It's plastic, so don't over tighten it. Just get it snug. We're gonna put together the control box, which has the DC motor. Very important, so if you don't do this right, it'll cause the, most likely, it'll cause the, uh, the motor to work backwards. So you got red and black, and on that board, it's labeled black and red. Mm. So just make sure you put it on the right way. It, it is weatherproof, which is nice. So next thing we're gonna do is put the batteries up and make sure your red and blacks are right. And then you take your stainless steel machine thread screws. Now I know that distance here is exactly what we want when we're putting our rails on. So I'm just gonna put the inside of the rail flush to the inside of the door frame. So that's nice and easy, so I don't have to measure that. So I'm just putting the end right flush to the top edge of that bottom board. And I'm gonna keep it flush to your frame. This should slip down. All we're gonna do now is take the string. All right, now here, tip the string is off center, it's to the left of the motor while facing it. So you don't wanna put your motor in the center of the frame. It actually has to be offset because what you want is this string to be in the center. So we actually gotta go off a little bit. I'm gonna make sure I got, you know, I can plumb it up, but you're, you're still locked. Not critical, just it's nice to do. Just leveling it off. Yeah. 
There we go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna get you set up and we're gonna calibrate it. We'll keep it on sensor. So I'm gonna hold it and the door will stop moving once I let go of that button. So we're gonna close it. I'm gonna let go of the down button once those fingers come out and lock the door in. So look at it, okay? So now it's gonna tell us that the calibration is correct. Huh? 